The next step on Violet's journey is to build her foundation by developing her natural retrieving drive. For Violet to reach her potential, her natural ability and drive will need to be refined. In fact, there's a lot that needs to be sharpened up. Violet would run around, she would play with a bumper, and really, she was just rough around the edges. Sometimes she would drop it at my feet or just wouldn't bring it all the way back. I'll be honest with you, this part of the training was extremely frustrating, but it was also a chance to really take one of the valuable lessons you learn while training a retriever, which is never give up and push through the problems to find success. So to fix the problem, we picked up some tools from the CGA store and we started the fetch, hold, and release process as outlined in phase two of 52 plus. Day by day, we worked on refining Violet's raw retrieving potential. As we continued, Violet learned to retrieve in a way that we wanted her to, a way that was stylish and precise. With that said, as Violet progressed, she would try to push the boundaries. Violet. So we would have to correct her and reinforce what we already yeah. taught her. Ah, hey, no, 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 no. As you can Violet. see here, the corrections worked very well. Good girl, good girl. In the next episode, see how Violet navigates new challenges on the road to becoming a waterfowl retriever.